Tuesday of the year 2010. As I mentioned uh, yesterday, this year is going to be very special for all of us because we are going to be celebrating our fourth anniversary this year. Kayo po ay nanonood ng Kababayan LA. This is Southern California's first and only locally produced daily show for and about the Filipinos. We strive to make our Kababayan's lives here in the States easier. At uh, sa pagsapit po ng bagong taon, we always talk about New Year's resolutions. And this is the time really when people think about and seriously think about uh, improving their lives. And uh, one of the ways in which some of our Kababayans are doing just that, improving their lives, is by doing Kabbalah. We talked about that a little bit last year on the show. We're going to be talking a little bit more about that today on Kababayan LA. Also, we're going to be opening our phone lines. As I mentioned, it's Talk Tuesday on the show today. So our phone lines are open. So you can ask anything and everything about Kabbalah. Yehuda Burke is back with us here on the show. Author, uh, welcome to Kababayan LA. Thank you very much for having me. And Nikki Lopez is a Filipino Kabbalah instructor, and she is also going to be on hand to answer your questions about Kabbalah. Hello and welcome back right. to the Thank show. Thank you so much. Let's first talk about the reaction of people. You know, before we did the interview, some people were worried from the Kabbalah. You know, maybe some of uh, the Filipinos here in the States aren't as ready to accept the teachings, accept the principles. But what happened after the show? Well. What I felt is that there was a lot less resistance. Mm -hmm. People understood that the Kabbalah wasn't a religion. Mm -hmm. People understood. I think we gave them an opportunity to to look at it for what it is. Mm -hmm. It's a wisdom. It's not. It's not anything more than just a wisdom, a philosophy mm -hmm. to make our lives better. Mm -hmm. Nikki, and it was great. We got a great response. We had a number of people who called in and who expressed their interest, and especially after they understood that this wasn't something that conflicted with anything they did in their lives and could actually enhance their connection. And that's what I was saying, you know, the first time uh, I said the, the only resistance I think that we're going to get uh, from the Filipinos is something, the thought, the perception that it will conflict with their religion. But now that we settled the score, what other, uh, where are the resistance coming from still? Do, are we still getting that? Are we still getting, you know, hes hesitation from people? You know, the big picture, people just resist change. Mm. It's not even a specific kind of a teaching mm. or a wisdom. People resist change. We like we like our little shell that we live in. Right. We don't. There's certain things we just don't want to give up. You know, mm -hmm. we're all addicted to something. Mm -hmm. And uh, even if we go to rehab for one thing, there's something else we, we end up having. And and it's a natural thing to just resist change. Mm -hmm. And uh, so even after people get over, okay, this is something I can study, Kabbalah can be for me, right. then, it has, then you have to break down someone's barrier of, ooh, do I really have to give this up? You know what, there's, only, there's also a time of the year, which is the new year, um, where people are willing to change. Right, because that's part of the New Year's resolution, to change your lives, improve your lives. How uh, can Kabbalah help them with that, Nikki? Well, Kabbalah supports a path towards change as that this is something that we embrace. It's a part, it's a part of the path. It's a major component of the path. Mm -hmm. that. Did you want to add to that? I just, you know, it's interesting. New Year's resolution, I'm going to be in Manila um, in, in January, the 18th? January, January 18th. January mm -hmm. 18th. Um, where? Uh, the Rockwell Center. Are you going to be having yeah, a talk ha there? Having a talk there. Uh -huh. My book is called The Power to Change Everything. It's New Year's, so it, it feels like it's, it's just, it, it came together. Uh -huh. I mean, there's, I, I have a book coming out that's about change. It's the New Year. Mm -hmm. For me, I feel very excited about this time, that, that not, only, not only are people thinking of their lives, okay, I want this this year, I need to do these changes, but there's also a path that I'm offering and I'm I think it, it's empowering people to change everything. And because of the book, people are now convinced that, yes, we can change our lives. But the thing also is we're living in an era where everything is instant. Everything, you know, you send an email, it's instant. Every, somebody else gets it with a Blackberry. You get everything, instant noodles, instant everything. So people are less patient. So even if you are able to have them understand the thought that, you know, they have the power to change everything, they are probably thinking, when, when, how soon, how soon they want it instantly. Yes. They want, yeah, so how... Unfortunately, the... The problems that got us to th sing that aren't great didn't happen instantly. They're, they're years of, of abuse of ourselves, Wrong years decisions. of bad decisions, being selfish, years and 
To correct that, it doesn't. It's not like a magic wand that you could just do in one second. Uh -huh. It takes some time. Nikki, it takes some effort. How has Kabbalah changed your lives? First of all, how many years have you been studying this? Uh, I've been with the center for five years, mm -hmm. and it was. It's an experience uh -huh. that was something that you try and you test out what the principles are, and you see their effect in your life. Uh -huh. And it's very practical. It's something that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. So you have a specific instance that you can share with our viewers, you know, how Kabbalah has changed your life, the way you think. Uh, <laughs> Putting you on the spot. <laughs> there are there's so many different things in, in the way that I viewed everything, in relationships with my family, with friends, mm -hmm. with people, and my connections with people. Mm -hmm. Everything in my life became more meaningful. Mm -hmm. And Kabbalah led me to find answers mm -hmm. that I've had my whole life. Okay, I'm going to grill you on that. When you say Kabbalah uh, led you to find answers, can you think of a specific question in how Kabbalah has led you to an answer, but I know you're struggling. We'll give you time to think about that. We'll return for more. Don't go away.